Hi, I'm Captain Brown. I'm with Carl Springs Fire Department. Today we're videoing a engine evolution number eight, which is a double forward lay with the luge on the ground. Let me read through some of the requirements so everybody does it the same. Looking for a minimum of 150 feet of three inch supply line deployed by way of a double forward lay. Make sure you set the hose clamp and then at least 100 feet double three inch lines to deluge on the ground. Full PPE to include SCBA must be worn. However, the firefighters do not need to be on air for this evolution. Only the two firefighters at the deluge have to be wearing their SCBAs. With that, the time is 5 minutes and 35 seconds. Today I have engine 10 here to assist with doing this evolution and we're going to start from there. Time starts as soon as the first firefighter steps off and hits the ground and ends when we have proper flow from the deluge and pressures are set. With that, we're going to engine 10. Connections being made at the hydrant with the gate valve in place. You just put the gate valve on, make sure you're at an angle so it doesn't interfere with your hydrant tools. Down towards the truck, setting the hose clamp so they're ready to call for that water pretty quick. for water's been made. It's going very smooth so far. Deluge being handed down off the top of the truck. For the sake of this video, we're placing the deluge out on the concrete apron. No guarantee you're going to have an apron to set it on typically. By pulling the hose past the deluge, make sure they have enough slack to make their loops for the ram's horn. with a minor tangle with their hose. We'll see if they can still meet the time and getting this all corrected. One of the biggest thing at any fire scene obviously is overcoming obstacles when we meet them.
we have water to the deluge, wait for a good flow. There we've got it, time stops now. One thing we're looking for is continuing to address any hose issues that you have. We want to make sure that there are no kinks involved with the hose at the end. Any kinks that you have restrict the flow of your overall GPM. So with that, that's pretty much how we expect this evolution to go. And we hope everybody gets out there, does some training, and is prepared when we come out for our timed evolutions. Thank you. Have a great day.